Hi, in this lesson, we're going to go over creating a new project in Android Studio. After installation, you can go ahead to open your Android Studio. You would most likely see a window like what I'm seeing here. You can click on Start a new Android Studio project. Over here, you can choose what type of activity you want to start with. I would explain what an activity is when I'm explaining the core components of Android. You can see there are many options here. You even have options for Wear OS, which has to do with smartwatches. You have for TV, Android Auto, and Android Things. For now, you click Empty Activity and click on Next. Over here, you have some things which you can configure, and I will go over what each means. Firstly, you have the name of the project. You can give this any name. So for example, I can name this Cyber Hello App. So I've given this a simple name. Now we have package name. Every Android app has a unique application ID. This ID normally looks like a Java package name. So what is the use of this ID? This ID uniquely identifies your app on the device and also in the Google Play Store. If you're creating a new project for the first time, you would normally see something like com.example.myapp or dot my application. You can edit this to something unique to you, such as your domain name if you have one. You can use this to find the project in case you want to get the project folder. Next, you have the language of the project. Now, in Android, you can use either Java or Kotlin. Kotlin was recently added as an official language for Android development. Java and Kotlin are very similar. So, if you learn either Java or Kotlin, you can easily switch from one to the other. So, for this project, we'll leave it at Java. Now you have minimum API level. So what is API level? Now, in other words, API level means the Android version. When you buy a phone, an Android phone, it normally comes with an Android version installed. These API level numbers represent specific Android versions. The minimum API level is the minimum version that your app will support. Once you come here, you can click on this help me choose. Let's see what it does. You can see the API version distribution here and what each version comes with. As Google releases new Android versions, each version comes with its features. But be careful, you don't just want to go to the latest version because not everybody would be using the latest version. And you can see that they will give you a hint on how many people you might be able to reach. For example, if I choose Android 5.0, also named Lollipop, you would see that I can reach about 85% of users at this time. If I go ahead to Android 7.0,
I might reach about 37%. Also, you don't want to go so back because you won't be able to use the modern features available. We are fine with using Android 5.0. You can leave this instant app unchecked and we can check this use Android X artifacts. Android X is a major improvement to the original Android support library. So we can now click finish. You would see some processes running below. Once it is done, you would see synced successfully. Now, depending on which theme you chose, it doesn't affect the functionality of Android Studio. Like currently, I am using a dark theme called Material Theme. Some of you might have chosen the light theme, some the dark theme. But that doesn't matter. In this lesson, we have gone over creating a new Android application. In the next lesson, we would go over what these files mean and getting acquainted with Android Studio.